Hello everybody. This is what woke people on and around the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland last night. Another earthquake storm caused by yet another magma intrusion. On July 3rd we got data that showed uplift has been ongoing on the Reykjanes Peninsula since early April at a fairly stable rate. Then around 24 hours later a powerful earthquake storm began under Mount Fagradalsfjall. As of now, the largest earthquake measured was a magnitude 4.8 and could be felt in areas over 70 kilometers away from its origins. As we've learned from the past two years, this activity suggests that an eruption could begin in the next couple of days or weeks. And in the meantime, large earthquakes are expected, with some scientists warning that a magnitude 6 or above could be possible. Ground deformation data suggests that the magma batch in this intrusion is the largest of the prior three intrusions, which in turn suggests a powerful eruption if the magma reaches the surface. Let's analyze this news in a little bit more detail. Let's compare the first 42 hours of activity to the last two intrusions that resulted in an eruption back in August of 2022 and March of 2021. First thing you probably notice is that the earthquakes are more spread out to the east and the west. That's because the areas marked in grey are so-called pressure release zones, where the earthquakes are caused by releasing pressure due to the magma intrusion. In the first intrusion back in 2021, a lot of pressure got released, resulting in a lot of earthquakes in those areas. So, in the 2022 intrusion, there was less pressure to release, hence less earthquakes in those areas. And now there seem to be none, meaning there's not much pressure left to release. One fact also worth noting is that all the intrusions seem to have began in the same exact area, with earthquakes in the current one advancing very quickly northeast, suggesting the magma is moving that way. The previous two intrusions didn't seem to move much in the first 42 hours. As I mentioned in the intro, Uplift in the Faradarsfjall system has been ongoing since early April at a rate of around 1 cm per month. Ground deformation has also been measured over a larger area than we've seen before the last two eruptions, indicating a large magma batch, but experts are currently working on an estimation for its volume. But with all this data and recent activity, when can we expect an eruption? Well, we can take an educated guess since we have experience on this type of stuff. In 2021, three weeks of earthquakes and earthquake crisis passed before an eventual eruption occurred, whereas in 2022, it took only six days. And the intrusion in December of 2021 tried for 12 days to reach the surface before coming to a halt some 1,000 meters below the surface. So it could take anywhere from six days up to three weeks before we see magma on the surface with around one week being likely, since the ground has been weakened by the previous intrusions, making it easier for an eruption to reach the surface. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.